All right, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back or oh, welcome to my channel. Uh, today I got another basketball unboxing review for you guys. And it is Spalling TF1000 Legacy Turkish Airline EuroLeague official game ball. All right, let's get right into it. GG. So this ball can deflated, I think only for shipping purpose. I hate it when they deflate the ball because sometimes it messed up the the panel of the ball. Or sometimes if they don't know how to deflate the ball, they're gonna mess up the valve. If you guys have like a bad valve or it leak a lot of air, most of the time because the shipping the way they deflate the ball, it damaged the ball, all right? I have a couple ball like that. Um, but, I, you know, maybe because this one was shipped all the way from Europe, that's why they had to uh, deflate it, take out the box and stuff. So if you guys have this ball, um, let me know if it came in the box or how it packaging. Mine just wrapped in the plastic bag, nothing special. Uh, a little bit about this ball. It's it is official game ball of the Turkish Airline EuroLeague, um, and I think this league have about eighteen teams across Europe, like Turkey, um, Greek, Spain, Russia, uh, Monaco, and a few the other country I can't remember. And they just have a their final. It was a low score final game, like fifty something. To 50 something. It's pretty low, but they just have the final. I think the team from Istanbul, Turkey won, won the championship. But anyway, let's get into the look of the ball because I, I look online, look around online, I couldn't find too much detail on this ball. So now let's do it in case you guys want to check. Um, the design on this one is pretty cool. Uh, two different color, black and orange, on the panel, um, and then it's the the logo and stuff. It's flip flop in color. So let me show you. So over here it have orange panel, with uh, black wording. Spalding is in black. No silver border or anything, and then underneath it it's black panel with silver. Uh, color and wording. So, all right, it's Turkish Airlines EuroLeague with with their logo over here, and then on the right side of it, right here, is the signature of the the CFO. I mean CEO. Sorry. Um, also in silver, and right underneath it, this one is changed it a little bit because this is the newer model. Uh, I believe it have eleven digit. I could be wrong gonna count it later um, over here it's spalling logo on the on the side right in the middle uh, moisture needle and flate to 8 psi um, this one made in Vietnam all right so I think the older model is made in China um, because of this reason uh, supply chain issue a lot of basketball company they moving around they not just make in china anymore they they go to vietnam they go to thailand i mean they still make in china but not um not a lot like before it's like almost everything made in china so now they try to you know uh, spread out a little bit because you know uh, with chinese uh, political stuff it's a little tough for the company for them to 
to to to run a smooth business. Uh, you know the supply chain disruption, the, the China zero COVID policy. They shut down the the factory and stuff. So these basketball company couldn't get the shipment. You know, like I've been waiting to buy. Was it uh, the TF M series, the new model of the? I mean, the replacement of Spalling NBA game ball. And I still haven't get it, man. I've been waiting for months. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, that's that. And then underneath that made in Vietnam, it has this three letter. Mine is O, B, D. All right. And, um, uh, and in another side, now this side is, you know, it's black panel, everything silver. The wording is silver. And then right underneath it, the EuroLeague logo is in black on the orange panel. Um, over here is TF1000 Legacy Deep Channel Design. It's also in silver. Um, one thing I noticed uh, when I saw the picture online and stuff, this groove or this channel is in, uh, it looks like it's in white, but it's not. This is like a light gray color. Um, and then also this man, this have an interesting design. It's like a crisscross. It's like a cross design. Uh, so it's orange on this side, right? If, if I switch it to the other side, it's in black. So that's pretty cool. Um, the other basketball that has like a unique design is this one. It's the AAU uh, TF1000 Classic. Uh, you can see the, the this two ball, the design is unique. It's different from uh, the rest, uh, oh, different, from, different from the traditional basketball, all right? Um, the grip on this one is good, man. I like the grip. It's easy to grab. Like, I can grab it, no issue. Um, the f but however, the feel on this ball is it's a little firm, man. It's firm. It's... My my first impression is like man, it's almost as firm as the the NBA official or uh, the Wilson NBA game ball, right? It's it's have that firmness, but this ball is is softer, softer and not as rough as the Wilson NBA game ball, but but the firmness of it, man, it's it's pretty firm. Um, you know, it, it's this. I think it's the same as the. The classic TF one thousand classic. That firmness is, you know, this two ball have a very similar feel to it, but you know the the, the classic have this smoother texture, smoother surface um, than the the Euroleague ball. Um, yeah, you know, some people might not like it. If you expect this ball to feel like uh, what you call it, the evolution, the Wilson evolution or the um, molten GG7X and stuff, it's not feel like that, all right? It's a little bit firmer, but let once it break in and stuff, it, it's gonna get softer because like I said, I already have the TF1000 legacy that's already well broken in already. Um, but, you know, as for now, expect this to feel for, um, so I'm going to head up to the gym really soon. I'm going to change and get, then go to the gym. And hopefully I can get some footage for you guys uh, at the gym. The first run on it. Um, to see how it is. And I will let you guys know. Alright. BLB. Yeah. Alright. What's going on guys? I am back. All right, so this is actually what three days later from my previous clip. Uh, you know, I've been using this ball at the gym for a few days, and let me tell you my experience. It is very disappointing, man. Let me tell you why. The first and the biggest complaint is the bounce. It's very inconsistent and not responsive. Uh, why I say that? You know when you bounce, you expect the ball to 
come back to your hand a certain way. This ball is like sometimes it hit your hand, sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it's flat, sometimes it's not. And um, and when I say it's not that responsive, it's weird, man. It's like when I dribbling the ball, I feel like the ball like stuck <laughs> to the to the court for like a couple milliseconds and then it bounced back. So I don't know, maybe this ball got too much grip or something, but it's very inresponsive and inconsistent in terms of bounce. Um, another thing is how light the ball shoot. So when you hold in hand, right, it feels fine. But when you start shooting it, man, it's, it's so light. It feels light. It's almost as light as the NBA official game ball. Uh, but it's not as light as the Wilson uh, Evo NXT, but it's it feels light when when it leave your hand uh, during the shot. Um, the only thing that this ball give a uh, people give this ball a compliment is how grippy it is. Is the grip on this ball is very nice, right? It's so the grip is really good, um, but. Compare this ball to actually I have the this ball just came in the mail um, the latest TF1000 Legacy um, it's the same ball um, but it doesn't feel the same at all um, this ball it's it, it feels firm but it's somehow it feels softer the, the grip is it's a little bit softer than this one this one is just kind of have this uh, rough texture um, and the bound is weird. This ball is, right now it's kind of weird too, but not too bad. Not as bad as this one. This one is pretty bad, man. Um, so for for the price, you know, uh, for the US people, you, you expect to pay, you know, over $100 for this one. I don't know how much you guys pay in Europe, but for us here in the US, it's pretty pricey. Um, and then, you know, the price that you pay for and the return you get from it is not worth it. Um, so if you guys really want to get the, uh, the legacy, uh, get this one better, um, skip, skip this one. And you know, when, when it's, when it's fully broken in like this one, this one, the, the, the older model, it's, man, it's not. It's not as bad, right? It's pretty good. It's the the grip gets softer, and then uh, it doesn't bounce weird. Uh, so hopefully, man, when when this ball is fully broken in, it gonna get better like that ball. Cross my finger. But yeah, that's that. If you guys want to buy it, get this one. All right. I okay, see it and skip this one. Not good. Um, so I have the link. Uh, I make this Amazon store. Uh, so I put all the basketball stuff in there. Like um, if you guys want to buy it, you got socks in there, basketball socks, uh, knee wrap, angle wrap, angle support. Um, so if you click those link and then buy it, you know, I get a little bit of commission, a couple of cents, not much, but it's better than nothing, right? That way I can keep buying more basketball for you guys. All right, that's that. Any questions, just hit me up, comment below. Um, thanks you guys for watching. Uh, like this video if you like, you don't like it, whatever. Subscribe if you want to, you don't want to, whatever too. All right, peace out guys. Yeah.